That's me, Charlie, short for Charlotte. I'm a 30-year-old independent film and documentary maker. I don't know it yet, but today is going to change my life. I'm a big believer in fate and trying to stay positive. Games begin positive and negative out. it seems to be working. It's in my professional life. I'm certainly not making the big bucks. But I'm able to live comfortably and choose the projects I want to work on. In fact, I'm just finishing up a documentary. I know I'll be inspired with a new idea soon. See, I'm always thinking positive. I have three vices. Caffeine. I always start the day with a strong cup of coffee. Cigarettes. I know I should give them up. I am trying. I don't smoke in the flat anymore, so I've cut down a lot. In the personal front, I find myself lusting after women there isn't a hope in hell of me having a relationship with. I've never really been successful in the ways of romance, but my belief in fate makes me positive that if it's to be, it will be. Hi Ange, it's me. I guess you're still sleeping. No, you, you're probably still snuggled up with whoever you picked up last night at FHQ. I was just calling to see if should we finish the edit today if you want to come over later. Uh, I've got something to tell you. Call me later, Sissy. Bye. That's Angie, my best friend and partner in our fledgling film production company. I'll have you know I was a snuggle up with anyone when you called this morning. Well, shit, when you didn't call, I thought your latest contact must have been special enough. For in all day? Nope, turned the phone off, slept most of the day. Sadly, I was alone in my bed, more than a very bad hangover. I need you in an emergency, you'd be there for me. Are you limping? Nothing. Bit of an accident that happened earlier today. I called you after it happened. Shit, don't tell me you were at uni when you called. Nothing that drastic. I just took a bit of a tumble and banged and scraped up my knee. Something good might have come of it though. Not sure if drinking this is going to be a good thing. But here are the dog as they say. Cheers. Cheers. Guess you need a pretty good night if you've been hungover all day. No, it was a shite night. Hence the reason I probably drank more than I normally would. Well, you know if there's someone I'm interested in, don't get completely pissed. Yeah, okay, and you keep telling yourself that maybe it'll be true one day. It's not as if I'm a drunk or anything, I just like a wee drink now and then. Okay, most nights, I try not to get drunk if I'm into someone. It's no fun if I can't remember the flirtation the next morning. Bullshit, your flirtatious conquest are normally asleep in your bed the next day. Jesus, you make me sound like a lush whore. Love you too. Moving this conversation off me and my drunken slutty ways. What the fuck happened to your knee? You know I love you, Ange. It's only because you score more than a crack whore on a payday weekend that I'm jealous of you. Well, if you ever come out to the bloody clubs, I'm sure you'd score just as much. You know I hate clubbing, it's just not my scene. I always end up with the fucking nutters or the big butch dykes that scare me. True. That ugly troll. Covered ugly and complete fucking nutter in one. Still have no idea what you saw in her. Thanks for reminding me about that. Fucking no idea where my common sense was in those six months. Note to self, next girlfriend isn't to be bipolar. Want to see that? It's not that I should really like it, of course. Yeah, in a bit. You still haven't told me what you did to your knee. It looks bloody painful to me. I can't see it was a good thing. Shit, Marshall, that shit hurts. That's nothing, just a scrape. Are you sure you don't want to watch the edit? I'll watch it later. Sorry, I didn't mean to make it hurt again, but it looks like a cracker. What happened? Okay, I was in the park, having my morning run. You running? Pull the other one. Okay, maybe not a run. How about a jog? No, still not buying it. I've known you nearly four years and never known you run, jog or do anything athletic. Try again. Fine. I was strolling through the park when, for some godforsaken reason, I tripped over something. That's my Charlie, ever the graceful wee thing. Yeah, it wasn't my finest moment. And to make matters worse, I fell right in front of this gorgeous woman. Oops, timing isn't your strong point either. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. 
Cheers. Oh, your knee's bleeding. That looks pretty bad. Oh, I think it looks worse than it is. Here. Ah, oh, shit, that hurts. Let me help you the bench. Oh. I think I've got a tissue or something in my bag. It looks like you've got some dirt on it. Some water here you can use as well. Thanks. I think it's just a graze, maybe a bit deeper than I thought. God, I'm so embarrassed. What do you mean what the bloody hell I tripped over? I think I remember reading about it. Mysterious moving paving stones blamed for embarrassing falls along the river Clyde. <laughs> Great, I can we do. I'm Charlie by the way. Becky. Sorry, I didn't mean to make fun of you. If there's any consolation, I've tripped up this path myself a few times. Although not in such spectacular fashion as you. Are you sure uh, it's okay? You might need some stitches in that, I think. Ugh, I'll live. Thanks for coming to my rescue. I wouldn't mind, but I want this path most mornings. I've never come such an embarrassing proper before. Glad I was here to help. Are you sure you'll be okay to get home? Yeah, I'm not far from here, in Lumpen distance. I'm down here most mornings, but I've never seen you before. I'm sure I'd remember seeing a beautiful woman like yourself. Jesus, that sounds like one of my lines. Get over your bad flirting self. Shut up. I was saying I was going to say that. That was corny. Well, did it work? What was a comeback? I had to get out the flat. I'm going through a bit of a rough breakup at the moment and I just had to get away. Sorry to hear about that. Do you stay near here? No, I started walking from the city centre. Ended up here. Just thought it seemed like a nice place to sit and reflect. Mm -hmm. Until I fell right in front of you, ruining your reflections. <laughs> I hate to say it, but seeing you fall helped take my mind off the dark place it was going. Well, in that case, I'm glad my painful and gainly fall was a diversion for you. I've been in those dark places myself, and it's always best to get out by any means possible, including the pain and humiliation of another. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Oh. Sorry. I'm going to have to take this. It's my ex. Probably want to know when's a good time to get their stuff out of the flat. Thanks again. Bye. Hello. Oh my god, that's it? You didn't find out if she was gay, straight, or indifferent, or even get her phone number? She'd just broken up with someone who was on the line. It was hardly a time to hit on her. That's exactly when you should have turned the charm on and made your move. She was vulnerable. Probably needed a shoulder to cry on. Who's better than yours? You learned nothing from knowing me over the years on how to charm the fair sex. I'm not you, her and it wasn't a time for charm, mine or yours. Well, did you at least get a ping in the gaydar? You know my gaydar's fucked. But I'm pretty sure she was family. I noticed when she was rooting around in her backpack, she had the latest copy of Diva. Oh my god, I'm disowning you as my best friend. You meet a woman who has Diva in her bag, upset about a breakup, and comes to your rescue. And you don't even think to get her phone number? That's it, you're off my friends list. You'll get over it. I don't know, it, when she helped me up, I got this feeling that it was kind of supposed to be. Even more reason why you should have gotten more info on her. You're the one that believes in all that fake shit. You meet a woman named Becky. Becky for Christ's sake, named after your dream news anchor, Becky Anderson. And you don't even think to get her phone number. I was in pain. It wasn't a top of my list of things to do at the time. If we're meant to meet again, we will. I'm going to put some coffee on. Do you want some? Another bottle of beer would be better to drown my sorrows at your lesbian incompetence, but yeah, coffee will do. I'll check out that edit now. It's labelled to say power. Well, I taught her nothing over the years. Bloody night, that's better be an emergency. I've got it. I know how you can meet her again. And what are you rambling about? It's 5.30 in the morning. Are you drunk or something? Of course I'm not drunk. I've been thinking about Becky. <sighs> You're not the only one. I was just in the middle of a very enjoyable dream. What if we do a documentary? What the fuck are you talking about a documentary? Listen to me, woman. What if the next documentary we make is about lesbians in Glasgow and their past relationships? I'm half asleep. I have no idea what you're talking about. Think about it. If we... 
I don't know, put up flyers around the clubs and lesbian haunts in Glasgow that were looking for people to interview about their past relationships, then... You're insane! Do you seriously want me up for this idea? Listen, it could work. Becky sees about the documentary, turns up for the interview, and you'd sweep her off her feet with your wit and charm. Yeah, right. Call me back when you're on the other side of the Twilight Zone. Charlie, it could work. Just think about it. Call me tomorrow or something. Bye. Women is bloody nuts. Documentary my arse. So it's been nearly two months since Ash's airplane documentary idea. We're filming the final interviews today. And the plan of meeting Becky hasn't materialised as I hope. Maybe fate really is shit. I think she's here. Hmm. The reincarnated queen mother. Who the fuck do you think? I mean, Becky, of course. Are you sure it's her? You've not seen what she looks like. A woman just walked into reception who looks just how you describe Becky. I agree, she's gorgeous. I had her fill out the release form and her name's Becky Andrews. Now tell me that's not fake playing tricks. Becky Anderson, Becky Andrews. Fucking weird if you ask me. Are you serious? You look hot. I'll give you a little preview of the girls for a moment, but still hot. I'm very sure I'm Charlie's help with some of the spell for this. I'll handle it, Kate. Charlie's a little busy at the moment. Just give me a Hi, Becky. Hi, yourself. How's the name? Oh, it's fine. Jesus, I can't believe you're here. I mean, I hope, but I never you know, hoped. Can you maybe go somewhere else? That's not really the best place for a conversation. I just came out to check. I looked okay for this interview. We'll be seeing you soon. So you're the one running this thing then? Uh, yeah, I'm Jenny. Good idea mm -hmm. for a documentary. Lesbian stories of disastrous relationships. I'm glad you like the concept. Uh, it's kind of crazy that you just came up with all these things. Me? How come? Did you maybe get a coffee or something? Maybe a walk down the clown? Should I wait somebody in the morning not doing this interview? Okay. I know the tickets are okay, I'm sure they'll be fine. If you're sure. I'm intrigued to find out why I'm responsible for this. Really do. I can't believe you went through all this trouble with a documentary and everything just in the hope that you'd see me again. Sorry if I'm coming out, she's a bit of a stalker. I'm not usually like this. I'm blaming Angie. It was all her idea, she came up with it all. Guess I owe Angie a drink then. Mm, you don't think it's weird or psychotic that people are to try and see you? No, I think it's brilliant. I felt bad for going you off that day when my ex called. But I hoped I'd see you again. I even came down here a couple of times and checked out to see you walking, or falling. <laughs> you said you walked here most days. I did usually, but after I fell, I need to rest up for a couple of weeks. I never made fire. And then what's work and stuff is out of the routine. I think when you were here, I'd have been down every bloody day. Oh, it's probably just as well we never met too soon after my breakup. I've needed the past couple of months to get myself sorted out. But I knew I'd meet you again. I'm a big believer in fate. That's all right. I kept telling Angie you're supposed to be here and you again. All well, my best friend gets fed up listening to me going on about how I felt something when I met you. And I knew I'd see you again. You felt it too. Do you mind if I do this? I'm just going to sit off. You can do it again if you like. All I have to say is thinking positive. Having a devious friend and a lot of help from fate means if something is to be, it will be when the time is right.